differences, sometimes apparent, sometimes not. Take the Wallace family, for example. Even though older sister Trudy and younger sister Judy come from the same family, there are differences. Trudy prefers white toast and eggs for breakfast. While Judy's morning is not complete without a hearty serving of sausage. Well, look who's here, right on time. Their high school guidance counselor, Mr. Peters. On today's field trip, Mr. Peters is going to show our girls that although there are differences between people, you'd be surprised how many similarities there are. Do you want to come? Who wouldn't? Let's go. Let's meet those people. Isn't this exciting, kids? An area of town you've never been to before. Come on, Judy. There's nothing to be nervous about. Mr. Peters knows it's safe. He visits this area all the time. Kids, meet your host, Mr. James Jefferson Carver Washington, but you can call him Jim. Let's go inside, shall we? Contrary to what they imagined, those people live almost exactly like everyone else. They in fact work, play, and yes, even eat. And speaking of, the new guests have arrived just in time for lunch. Trudy has brought her own contribution, which she's more than happy to share. Hey, here's a double treat. Jim's friend Cosmo has dropped by for a visit. Cosmo is not only one of those people, he's one of the chosen people. Cosmo is wary of meeting new friends. In fact, he thought Mr. Peters was a cop. But it's Jim to the rescue, assuring him that we are indeed all the same. That's what it says in the Constitution. We, those people, in order to form a more perfect union, recognize that all men are created equal. And someday, maybe women will be too. Judy and Trudy have heard that those people appreciate their music. Well, that's one stereotype that's certainly true. But Judy and Trudy are now feeling their differences. So Judy decides to play the music of her people, thinking that might break the ice. But Mr. Cosmo has his own ideas about how to loosen things up. In school, Judy and Trudy have read all about tribal groups who smoke the peace pipe. They don't want to insult their new friends. Well, that's quite a change, isn't it? It's amazing what can happen when different cultures come together. Judy especially sure looks a lot more comfortable. Even Mr. Peters has gotten into the act. Maybe deep down inside, he's one of those people too. This hoot nanny has even drawn the attention of another neighbor, Magnamilius, a practicer of alternative religions. He is clearly one of those people. Yes, Judy and Trudy have learned a valuable lesson today. Even though we may all have our differences, there are also many easy, natural ways in which we can all come together. And that's why today, Judy has decided to spend even more time with those people. 